Kelsey welcome back to my channel so today I would like to do an Easter slash spring haul for you I'm a little late to the game it's the last day in March but it's never you know better late than ever so I have a few well a good handful of things I want to share with you that I've bought and then I'm hoping this weekend I can actually get this stuff out and I'd like to record it and show you guys but we'll see how that goes um so I got the most stuff from Target so we'll start with that <clears throat> um most of this if not all of it is from the dollar spot um so this is a little five dollar wreath i think i'm gonna do on one of my cabinets in my kitchen but i loved the carrots i was very into that this year into that this year um i don't have anything like this so i thought that would be a fun addition and then this tray which isn't necessarily easter i guess you could say it's spring but i thought thought it would be very versatile for all seasons five dollars which i thought was fun for anything you just want to be able to prop up um, and then these two I like couldn't leave behind I'm always thinking you know things that aren't breakable for me children because they love to touch everything these were three dollars a piece the bunny weakness love the little bunnies like this and I thought the little chicken was cute chicken I guess you'd be a chicken right <laughs> but those are three dollars a piece um I think oh no let's do these this, these were $5 and it comes with two. So kind of that, almost gingham, I don't know what you would call that, stripes on the back and then the little carrots are my favorite. I have one of those little wooden ladder type things that sits on the counter in the kitchen that I'd like to hang those from. And then this I also thought would be kind of neat. You could use this all, I would say spring and summer. Who knows what else you could probably come up with something for other other seasons or holidays this was five dollars and i have some ceramic stuff i can put inside here that was really cute or when i was carrying this all back here to my bedroom because my son's out in the, in the living room so i was trying to do this quick i sat this over this and it fits so now i'm tempted do i decorate it like this and put something in there i will keep you updated okay um two more things um i definitely am gonna do a tear tray the last i don't even think i did tear, a tear tray for christmas but <clears throat> i had planned to and then i just it kind of like takes a lot of time and effort to do a tear tray so i just didn't get around to it but these were f both three dollars a piece so this one has the chicken sorry i have this little like chicken and the little eggs i thought were so cute and then the little farm fresh egg sign or fresh egg and then these, so this one says Happy Easter and it has the carrots. And then the little wooden bunny, which you could paint. It's just a wood color if you wanted to or customize it with your Cricut. That would be kind of fun. The $3 a piece, I thought that wasn't a bad deal. And then this is the only non-dollar spot item I got. And I walked, they've had these out for a while because I kept walking past them. I was like, yeah, I need this. It's a candle. Oh, that smells good. I truthfully liked, they had this in a few colors. This color, pink, and it might have been a purple, but I don't I don't like the smell of lavender. Fun fact about me. But um, I would have liked the pink, but I didn't love the way the pink smelled. And I'm like, well, if I'm going to buy this, I probably should get the one that I would actually burn. But this is $10, which I mean, a little pricey when you compare it to like a $10 candle from even TJ Maxx or Bath & Body Works. But it smells good. It's cute. It'll be, I'm, I was thinking the bathroom, but... We'll see where it ends up. <clears throat> um, I think that's it from Target. Um, let's do Joann's next. Joann's had some really cute stuff. I just like didn't buy, I mean I bought a good amount, but I didn't buy it over, I mean I didn't buy too much because sometimes it's hard to remember <laughs> what you have, which is gonna be a nice thing about making these videos. I can look back and say, oh, I do have that. But um, this says hello spring and I think their decor was 60% off at Joann's. I just bought this maybe as of been last week. So like mid-March <clears throat> and it's their in full bloom collection place and time. I think that's what everything is, but this was $12.99. So like $5 for this, which I thought was cute. And I love the texture of it. The fat, it's like fabric. And then I like grab these on the way out it always gets me in the little cue lane but they're little carrot lights i don't know what i'm gonna do with these but i thought they were so cute i couldn't leave them behind they were originally 20 but i think these might have been like an even better sale i want to say these couldn't have been more than four or five dollars but i'm sure i will find somewhere for them to go and then i have my coffee bar which 
I have high hopes for. I always say that, but um, I, I found a few mugs. There was maybe one or two more colors that I didn't grab. I grabbed three. This is Hop To It with the little bunny. Um, these were $12.99 and I think 60% off, so four or five bucks a piece. And then this one says, Some Bunny Needs Coffee. And I have on my little tray out there, I have three hooks. So I thought this was perfect. And then I care it about you. I think this is funnier than you probably do. I thought those are fun. I can't remember if I have any Ray Dunn mugs. I'm sure I have at least one or two. <clears throat> I haven't been to TJ Maxx or Marshalls or any, you know, home goods or anything like that in a long time. So I haven't been able to pick up any Ray Dunn, at least for Easter stuff. Um, so that's it for Joann's. Oh, actually, I have a wreath, but I forgot to bring it back here, so I'll I'll show a little clip of it. I got a few things from Walmart. This was $6.98. Spring has sprung. I thought that was so cute. And I loved the pattern of this behind the floral with the pink. Very pretty. I'll probably regret buying this. <clears throat> I always see these. I feel like they have them for every season. Also, six ninety eight tic tac toe game. I don't know if I'm gonna sit on my coffee table because I just know these pieces are gonna get lost and chewed on and thrown around because my kids are, kids are a little wild. And if you can hear him, you understand. He's out there like yell. I don't know what he's doing. And then this mat. Can you read what it says? Every bunny welcome. I don't know where I'm gonna put this. Shoot. Here it comes. All right, we have a guest because he discovered I was in here and now it's been on. All right, go play. Go play. Be free. Be free. Don't do it. Anyways, you could reverse this is what I'm trying to say. The camera's probably about to fall over because it's game on now. Okay, I have to be really quick because there's a timer on that little man right there that just came in. <clears throat> Hobby Lobby, I only picked up three things because I wasn't, um, I don't want to say I wasn't super impressed. I just, I've bought and stuff there from there the past couple years, so there's not much I saw that I really wanted. I did find this cute little teapot, which I think will be cute for all seasons. I'm obsessed with the teapot stuff, tea party, whatever. This was five, and then I'm sure, I think it was half off or 40%. And then I got this sign, Sweet Shop, Cottontail Field Sweet Shop. How cute is that? I have no idea where that's going to go, but I'll figure it out. And that was 26 well this is the Spring Shop and this was Easter. I think they're still both 40% off. <clears throat> and then I walked past these and I thought these were a good idea, mostly because the price of eggs is ridiculous as we all know, and I don't know how hard these would be to break probably not nearly as hard i don't know we'll find out i guess but we could do some hard-boiled eggs on top of these eggs but i figured it'd be easier for my kids to decorate so those are five and then i think 40 percent off and then i had two random things one i think i picked this up at what's it called i picked this up at ross i couldn't remember the name of it i was like it's not marshall's um just easter blessings and it's two of the same towel I think these were five yeah 4.99 at ross and i found these like literally forever ago i mean i don't even know if it was valentine's day yet but i was like well if i find them i might as well i have someone watching me i have an audience this i'm pretty sure i bought i'm pretty sure i bought this on clearance last year at kirkland's because it has a little kirkland sticker on it Originally 25 and then they had it on clearance for $9.87. <coughs> but I'm pretty, I'm almost positive they sold this, at, sold this or sell this at Hobby Lobby too, where they did last year at least, because I remember that's where I saw it. So, you can probably hear him just making all kinds of noise. So that's my spring slash Easter haul. I talked really fast it seems, but I wanted to like breeze through it for you guys and hopefully get this up today. If someone lets me do what <laughs> I need to do. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and sticking around to the end. I appreciate it. Um, if you're new here or you want to see more content, I would really appreciate it if you subscribed. It gives me motivation to make more videos. But I hope to see you in the next one, which should be my spring slash Easter decorate with me, which hopefully I will get up very soon. But with kids and all that jazz, it's 
we'll see what happens. But thanks for watching. Bye.